All right, we are back with the turnaround and walk. Definitely better. Hmm. What I would still look at, it still has the stop and go feel to it. And I think where to me, like the very beginning, I would also practice a little bit of moving holds or uh, keep alive. Where at the very beginning, it seems like there's not much going on, if anything. And you could have, since he's leaning that way, this way, you can imagine there's, you know, gravity and everything going this. So if if that is where you're starting your move, you could have... So if this is your start and you go back to the beginning, so on your skinny here, you know, you could have your body slightly straighter, the neck a bit here, the head a bit here, just a bit. So there's a little bit of... A little bit of a moving hold down, a little ambient move. Or you can have a little bit of left and right in this. I would also practice a little bit of that. So you are really trying to get out of your static pose, movement, and then stop. So again, same thing here. We're getting to this. And I see that your body is stopping, but then your head continues. So you're trying to get out of that pose to pose. What's happening with this is that you're falling back into another area that you're, that you're struggling with is where things move separately as in nothing's moving but only one body part so you have to balance that out a little bit so on a head turn like this i see some stuff here in the in the neck area i think you could probably push that a tiny bit more to loosen up just this section as he looks up here Especially when you scrub it, you can see how those arms, they both just kind of move over. So you can look at this is like when the this arm is like that. You have to look at it in terms of this, this bit of a, a balance between gravity and posing, right? So arms out like this would be something intentional because otherwise if it's just relaxed, the arms would be straight. But what happens when you have both arms move like this, it feels like they're just one connected piece moving over. So once you have your head move and your body move over this way, you can have this come down. I think I like that, but then I would have this come down as well. So not going this way, but the other way. So you can droop a little bit more. Fingers can cross into the thigh here. It's still okay. And then when you continue with that head, I would still have a little bit more separation in here and have that come up a little bit more. And you can continue with this in your graph, you know, it would do whatever rotation you have. And right now it feels like you're going up and then we're really flat and then you go through your next move. And I will practice something where it might go like this and then keep going a little bit and then keep going there. Really almost to a flat, but not really. So you really practice that moving hold move, move move into the next there is moving through there so it's not just the neck and then when it's done you have some body move there i think that's cool and you have a little bit of an offset here in the arm where this moves more than this and that's what i would look at as well because right now what's happening is that your head is moving and then I see this moving as well. So I think, again, it's this very fine line where you're going to have a bit less movement in here. Maybe two frames of more of movement in the head. While this not doesn't quite react as strongly. You can have maybe a little bit. I mean, it's, it's kind of arbitrary which one. But to me, it feels like you have a move like this. I would keep this one fairly still and move this one first as well. Meaning this two frames, then this, then this. Just because if I, again, if you watch this, and it's again more apparent when you scrub, see how those arms are moving to the right at the same time. Again, giving this, this, this separated feel like this is one piece that has just a joint here. And then this is moving very strongly. So this is a separate piece, this, and then these together. I mean, that's, that's the stuff that, that, 
is holding you back. So to me, it would feel like two, three frames on the head. He's offset. And even on that terms, it's a really big turn that even at this point, you've already moved the upper body just a bit more this way. It feels a bit head turn. Like that is just a bit too separate, really pivoting off of here. Where on this, I would already move the lower neck a bit more this way. But right now, you have a head turn and it stops and then most of the body moves over. I would start that around the mid part. So you take away that separation of just that rotation through there. And again, you're, you're ending it still feels you're moving over and then everything kind of ends the, the head comes down this is stopping and the body is stopping so if you again if you scrub you can see this like i feel it when i see it but when you scrub fast it will you can see it a bit more how things suddenly come to a, a halt uh as opposed to you move and you can still move the whole body because it's this is big this is small this is small too right so as you're shifting the way over or you're shifting over this way and then the body as well, this can still continue. The same thing again, it can move it almost to a stop and continue versus a full stop. Because this is going to take longer to come to a stop than these because these are smaller. There's less weight. So keep going with that so that it can really transition into your next move. But again, when I look at, turn the on and skinning off here, when you move here again you again have that thing of both of them are kind of moving together there's more here but it still has that feeling of again both arms moving together body and then the head goes up this still feels like it's very pose to pose let's all move together out of this but once you're here it's definitely better Watch out that we don't have too much of a bend straight and then lock. Same thing with that. I think we are a bit strong on that reach. So it's like we would be here and on this we might still have a little bit of up and then flattening. So it's like we're a bit overextending there. And then through this section, I think we are too low for too long. Like he's taking the step. And now, even through here, he's going to start pushing up. So to me, this would be a bit higher in your root. So it's not so bent on that passing. It's like we're just doing the straightening right at the end. Which to me gives this section too much of a floaty straight feel. And then this is a bit too high. Human legs, we're very lazy. So on a regular walk... This would be lower, so you can have this really just... The toes are almost grazing the floor. So that feels more like he's about to step onto a surface. So it feels a bit unnatural for a regular walk. And I think your arm is too uh, swinging over too soon. You have a little delay, which is great. But then I will keep it a bit longer bit longer it's a bit too in sync with that leg and if you look at timing wise what's going to happen i feel like at that speed and being already here it's going to reach this pose you know imagine that this arm is not doing this too soon basically when this is stepping this is going to finish the swing maybe two frames later arms are a bit later on this they just kind of swing they don't lead Obviously, unless this is a very specific move. So even this, I would delay. And on a first turn, this feels more like he's reaching for a door handle. So this would be a bit more relaxed, a bit lower on the swing. Because you only now started to move. So this already feels like a full arm swing after, you know, five, well, four or five steps. Versus this is your first step, so this is going to be low like that max here and then this as you come back i would hold not straight to where you have it here keep swinging up hold 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 and then back and then this back is too fast you're popping out of frame here 
Okay, this is this this is more like a pendulum. One vanilla walk is gonna go up and swing. And you're doing you're doing that. So up, 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 hold, 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 and you know, two, three more frames to get out, and maybe you leave a one frame in there. So just slowing this swing down. And then your head down impact here is a bit too harsh. So your head kind of stays, and then suddenly it comes down. Watch the head. Right there. It's a bit too much. So you have to look at this is the impact. Then it goes down. So I'll give this. You're already going down a bit too soon. I would delay this by a frame or two. And then extend it by maybe three frames. This feels more like this fast move feels more like it's he's stepping and then stopping. As in the body will stop. It's a sudden abrupt move which shoots the head down. As opposed to just a, an impact drag overlap. All right. That is that. Hope it helps. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.